Coach Dutcher is nice enough to join us live on Extra Sports 1360. Coach, great to have you on the show. How's your off season going? Well, it got a lot better today. I'm yep. sure it did. I'm sure it did. Yeah. Well, congratulations, first of all. How long had this coaching waiting discussion been in the works? You know, I think uh, when Jim Sturt arrived here, uh, Coach Fisher broached the subject with him. I don't think it got serious wheels until after the end of this season. I think Jim wanted to kind of see how things uh, were working here in the program, you know, keep an eye on things and check me out, check the program out. And I think when he got comfortable, he and Coach continued the talks, and it led to me being named Coach and Waiting, which I'm uh, very grateful for. And, Coach, I would imagine the fact that you and Coach Fisher have such a great relationship will make this an easier transition than we've seen in the past because this Coach and Waiting thing, can work, but we've seen somewhere in college, whether it be college football or basketball, where it can get a little bit dicey. So how do you think it will work when that transition time does come or the maybe the year or month leading up to that transition? Well, I hope it works out well. Uh, obviously, I've been with Steve for over 20 years, uh, starting with him in 1988-89 at the University of Michigan. So there's no question that we have a great working relationship. Uh, the good news for all of us in this deal is that uh, – Steve Fisher is going to be the head coach at San Diego State for a lot longer. I don't think uh, by having the uncertainty of who would replace him, you know, Steve's always been so great to me. He might, who knows, he might want to leave early just to give me the job. But now <laughs> he's got the, the chance to coach as long as he wants and uh, know uh, that uh, when he does step down, we'll have continuity in the program and I will be the next head coach. Great news today on the Mesa. Aztecs assistant head coach Brian Dutcher is our guest. Brian, tell me the story. Take me back to the late 80s, the very first time you met Steve Fisher. What was the meeting like? Well, I had actually been hired to Michigan by uh, Bill Frieder, and Steve was the other assistant. So uh, I came in a little bit on equal footing with Coach, <laughs> even though he was the more experienced assistant. Wow. We were both assistants together at Michigan. And then it was the, the, the unpredictable predictable ending to the season. Well, Bill Frieder left. Uh, Steve took over. And he, I, and Mike Boyd, our other assistant, uh, won the national championship in 1989. Probably the only time that will ever happen. Man. So we, we, hit the game, we hit the ground running together, and uh, we've been running ever since. So that's 1989. And then in four years, let's just say you're the head coach. Has that always been your plan, your career path? Have you always seen yourself as a head coach, even though I know you enjoy your role? You know, I've never tried to get ahead of myself. Uh, I've always enjoyed the jobs I've had. I love being an assistant at Michigan. Uh, I came out here with the intention of just enjoying being an assistant at San Diego State, and if I did my job well and the program was successful, uh, I knew good things would happen for me, whether it would be here at San Diego State like it has or someplace else. So I've never tried to get too far ahead of myself. I've always enjoyed uh, the work I've had and the people I've been around. Coach, let me ask you this. You, are you and Coach Fisher alike enough where this situation won't come up? And let me just paint this for you. It's Coach Fisher's last year of the four years. Obviously, you being the coach waiting next year is yours as head coach. Coach is coaching up maybe a freshman or a sophomore on the team, and maybe you're thinking to yourself, I would do it a little bit differently. Do you pull that guy aside and say something of your own to kind of get your own identity with him, or do you truly let Coach Fisher, even his last year, do it 100% and then you kind of pick up the following year? You know what? The, the real strength of Coach Fisher and the reason his assistants have always enjoyed working for him is because he gives us an active role now. I mean, there are some programs where the head coach does all the work, the assistants stand around and watch and learn by observing. Coach Fisher, you earn your stripes uh, when you prove yourself competent in an area. He lets you run with it. And so we're all able to coach now. Uh, will I be like Coach Fisher? I'm sure I'll have uh, Fisher tendencies, but uh, it would be an injustice uh, to Coach Fisher and myself to try to be the next Steve Fisher. You know, I've learned from all the coaches I've worked for, including my father, who was the head coach at Eastern Michigan and mm -hmm. the University of Minnesota, Lou Henson at Illinois, and obviously I've learned the most from Steve Fisher, having been with him 20 years. And so I think I'll have my own identity. I think uh, we've always worked well together. Uh, all the assistants here over the years have played well off each other, and uh, it's been just a magical ride here at San Diego State that uh, we're all hoping to continue over the years. He is Brian Dutcher, Aztec's assistant head coach, coach in waiting. And although this is a fantastic story today, we just had a horrible story about 10 days ago where Brian Carlwell was denied an additional year of eligibility. How tough was it when you found out the news? Well, obviously hardest on Brian of everybody. Uh, I think in his own mind he didn't want to hold out too much hope about getting that uh, that sixth year, 
but I think in his heart he wanted it. So I think it was very disappointing to Brian. Uh, you know, we, we put a good appeal in. Jay Larson, our compliance officer, did a wonderful appeal. Uh, I think it could have been easily uh, granted, but the NCAA looks at each case individually, and they just felt that uh, it wasn't strong enough to grant Brian that year. So now we're trying to help Brian uh, uh, get a gig in Europe, try to get uh, a professional opportunity overseas, where he can start uh, uh, making a little income playing basketball. Yeah, it would have been great to have him back, just had a little a little length and some body size, not to mention some veteran leadership. But, Coach, let us know what we're going to see from this team this year. Will it be a bit more up and down faster, a bit more perimeter with the jump shots, being that you know you don't, you don't have the length and you lost a number of guys who were key to last year's team? What will we see from this year's Aztecs basketball squad? You know what? The, the beauty of college basketball is that you turn the team over every four years. And sometimes sooner than that, if a guy like Kawhi goes pro, so as a coaching staff, we're excited to see what we have. We'll start workouts this week. The first day of class was today. We'll start working the team out on uh, Thursday, and we'll start to get a feel for what they do and what they uh, bring to the table. So it will be a, a work in progress. Obviously, we know we have great experience at the guard position back with uh, Chase Tapley and, and uh, James Rahan. Uh, we have Xavier Thames and LeBradford Franklin back and uh, Jamal Franklin. So we've got good guard play. We're going to have to see what our bigs are able to bring us, if Tim can stay healthy, if there are new bigs, uh, what their strengths are. And uh, we'll just build it from day one and, and play to our strengths. That's the one thing that Coach Fisher does. He's not a system coach. He finds out what he has, and he finds a way to make them successful. Hey, before you go, I do want to ask you a little more about Chase Tapley. Obviously, he came in the same recruiting class with Kawhi Leonard, one of the great players out of Sacramento. And then on last year's team, I'm not saying he was overshadowed, but he wasn't viewed as the star of this team. Does he have superstar potential when this really becomes his team? Chase Tapley can score the basketball, and so can James Rahan. But obviously uh, we would have been uh, not doing our job as coaches not to give Kawhi the majority of the touches. And uh, he got more opportunities than those two. But I think as their opportunities grow and their uh, – the plays are run more for them. They'll prove themselves uh, valuable college uh, basketball players and great scores for the Aztecs this year. Coach, congratulations to you and Steve Fisher. We do appreciate the time. Wishing you guys the best. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. You got it, Coach.